Hi everybody. My name is Carolyn Ellis. I'm an abstract artist. I live in Duncanville and today I'm going to talk about making art. Now true, I like to make big art. I'm standing in front of one of my paintings. It's six feet by 12 feet. <laughs> I like to paint big, but I also paint smaller works as well. Today we're going to talk about little projects, easy, small projects that everybody can do. So let's get started. I'm going to turn the camera around so that we look directly at the projects I'm talking about. Now, right here, this is a pencil organizer. I got this from Walmart. It has sections where you put pencils. Now I use it for my markers. Okay, and I use those very markers to draw on the outside of this organizer, and I had so much fun doing it. Now, like all my abstract art, each piece is a, its own journey. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm playing with color and enjoying every moment of it. The idea is, don't look at this as the model. Look at this as an idea. Take markers and consider playing with the colors and see where they take you. You'll find out what colors are you drawn to and what shapes are you drawn to. Now, if you want to draw flowers or your dog or whatever, feel free. Now, it's just with my abstraction, I always go to color pure and simple design and have a party that way. Now, this is another uh, organizer for pencils. This is my husband's, okay? I got this at a thrift store. And all I did was cut out a piece from white contact paper, that's what that is, and I added some red paint, acrylic paint. And Now, which of those do I like better? I love them both, I don't just like them. I love them both. I love the simplicity and the uh, clarity and the boldness of this. I also love the design of the pottery itself. Uh, so there's no set way to do anything. Now what we're looking at here in the back, those are ping pong balls. Yes. And I took markers and I did shapes and designs on those. And then I picked up this piece of wood somewhere or other and I glued them on. Now, I don't play ping pong. I just wanted to explore design. The idea here is to give yourself permission to be ridiculous and find out what happens. All it takes is some markers, uh, acrylic or oil or paint markers, and you're all set. This, this is a piece I picked up in the backyard. I think it had something to do with the fencing. And I just let myself go. And what I end up with delights me, completely delights me. This, this is my husband's vitamin bottle. I like to use markers and bring color to everything. And that's what I do. Uh, this is PVC pipe from Home Depot cost a couple bucks. I thought, well, let's see what I could do with that. And so can you. You can write your name on there. You can write a poem on there. You can write anything you want on there. You could also glue things on there. You can uh, cotton balls, sequins, uh, fake pearls, whatever you want. You can turn it into craft, but I'm not after craft. I'm after original creative expression. And I don't look at these as trivial. I look at these as significant works of art for me. Now that box, I just took white paint and painted on the black box. I think a phone might have come in this and I'm thrilled with the result. Soda cans, beer cans, any kind of can that you want can be turned into a work of art by taking a marker and exploring the possibilities. Each can is a completely new journey. Now, when I finish something like this, it, I feel like I have climbed Mount Everest, like I have 
sailed around the world. This is my adventure. I'm not a traveler. I'm except as an artist. As an artist, I'm adventuring all the time. Okay, now that's a jelly jar. I turned my markers loose on that. And uh, you can do the same thing with cereal boxes, soup cans, anything you like is a possible miniature canvas for a whole new world of creation. Now you could um, tape or glue pictures on there. I mean, you can go a completely different direction, but, it, but as an artist, I am after making art, I'm just using a smaller surface. Now these, these are wooden blocks. I bought uh, two inch by two inch, uh, you could call it a stick of two inch by two inch wood. Then I cut it into to blocks and then I, I use my markers on each side. So there are six sides to each one of them and every side is different. And uh, I put them together sometimes and uh, create all sorts of crazy work. When you have like, you know, 16 of those, which I do, uh, you have millions of possibilities for uh, a new creativity uh, emerging. Now this, this is a bowl. I couldn't really use this bowl because this kind of marker isn't uh, dishwasher safe at all. But isn't this a fascinating design? I think that is spectacular. Wouldn't I love to see that on a, a bowl and, you know, actually produced? I certainly would. But you know what? You can create something just as fabulous yourself if this interests you. If it doesn't, then, you know, that's totally fine, of course. Now, that's paper folding. Now, we're going to look at paper folding some more. So I'm going to pass by that right now, but that happens to be a favorite. Uh, this is another box that I painted. When I finish a, a canvas, I all the, all the time have paint left over in my brush. So instead of wasting it, I use it on small pieces like this. So this was from some present. I haven't finished all the sides, but I've done the front and I, that is a spectacular piece. There's nothing uh, unimportant about that. That really strikes me in the face. Now, this, this is a, a twisty puzzle, you know, that you can twist and turn. And I saw it at Walmart and I thought, you know, I can do something with that. So that's what I did. That's sure to end up in somebody's stocking for Christmas, one of the grandchildren more blocks. Okay, now these are rocks. Now, I'm not after some cute little turtle or a sunflower. I'm always after uh, abstract expression. But you, as I said, can go after whatever you want. You want to turn that into a cat, you could turn that into a cat. Uh, now here, the rock is unpainted except for that one face. Same with this, the one face and then a little red. The rest is unpainted because I like that raw, earthy feeling about it. Now, what you're looking at up here, that, that is the lowly McDonald's coffee cup. And I probably have 30 here in the house right now. And each one is its own exploration, like I mentioned, its own specific climbing of Mount Everest. And I get so excited when I'm finished, just so full of joy. Uh, you can cut holes in this. You can uh, cut strips in it and curl it, curl it over. You can put a hole in the bottom. You can just imagine having the liberty to do absolutely anything you want. That's what art, uh, making art is all about, especially abstract art. Now here, this is the, the lowly uh, toilet paper roll. Now, you can actually buy these on Amazon. They're called six inch cardboard tubes and I have a whole bag of them. And so as usual, I look at this as a, a genuine um, exploration, a, a genuine opportunity to make abstract art on a curved surface. And uh, I've probably done a dozen or two of these and I'm particularly attracted to very simple with, with this particular uh, type of project. Whereas other times, this was, tea was in this, but it was such a sweet surface that I thought, well, you know what? I am going to play with that. So I did. <laughs> I didn't realize I did the bottom. So um, everything, everything is game. If you were to go to your trash can right now, you know, what would you find in there? Uh, a, a pizza box? Uh, 
um, a yogurt cup. Uh, you can use markers or other materials. You know, you can always glue on it. You can punch holes in it. You can thread yarn through it. Like I said, give yourself permission to go crazy. Now, we're going to sweep through here. Yes, this is more of my artwork. I'm in love with color. I like to say that I ran away with color, but then I, I you know, then I right away corrected to maybe color ran away with me. I can't get enough of this. I started painting when I was 62. I'm 70 now and going strong. Okay, now this is paper folding. Now you can use any paper, construction paper, typing paper, but the best um, material to use is thicker and heavier. For instance, the an old uh, cereal box, that kind of thin cardboard would work well. Uh, you can also buy something called cardstock. You can get like 500 sheets of it. Walmart might have it, otherwise you'd go to Office Depot. And you take that simple sheet of cardstock and make a few folds if you want, make some cuts, and a whole world opens up. Uh, this is almost like a pyramid. Of course, in the back, it's not three. It's not filled out in the back. It's this is just a fr the front face that we're looking at. Um, uh, this piece here, this only uh, this was a rectangle. Then I cut it in this shape. Who knows why? But I'm wild about this. Then I folded it one place right there. Okay, and then I was I, I got the idea. Let's add the black and some lines. That is my current favorite. Now, why does that make my heart skip a beat? Because I, I'm so thrilled by this. I reflect on these, on that idea all the time because I don't fully understand myself why I'm so wild about my work. This, this is another uh, favorite. Um, it was a, just a few folds and you end up with something, I think, magnificent, just magnificent. I didn't add anything to this because I was so happy with it. Here's one that, that I did cut. Now there's one fold there, there's another one, okay, another one. So that's three folds and again I'm already in, in a wonderful place where I'm loving it and then I added a, a black accent. Um, up here we have more. So in my uh, studio, which is where we are right now, it's just the living room of our house. My husband and I, we hang out in the master bedroom, which we turned into our den. We have three bedrooms, so that's where we hang out. But the living room, that's where I, that's my creativity space, and I use every inch of it. This is just uh, some random paper that's two or three pieces, which I decided to just curl up like this. And I put a red circle on it and, you know, some accent at the bottom thrilled and behind it this is some piece of trash this little plastic thing that I got out of the trash and then I decided to do something with it so I I took that little piece of paper folded it and I find it just fascinating and of course you can try all different ways and that's true of abstract art in general nothing is in a fixed position you can try all sorts of positions another piece of curled work. So I think that you get the idea here. Um, my encouragement to everyone, we'll go back over here to my small project area. Um, my encouragement is pick materials at random of whatever is available. Maybe you saw an interesting stick. Maybe it was an interesting leaf, um, a plant pot, anything at all that you like. Now, but I think we'll close with, I'll come over here and we'll look at this. This is um, contact paper. This is my, my laptop and I cut a piece of black contact paper and then I used the markers and that's what I did. Now again, you can put anything you want on here. You know, if you're a writer or a poet or if you want a, a great quote, you just put the, this is removable contact paper and it could be any color or design that you want, and then you can do whatever you want with it. I like this kind of design, as odd as it may seem. Now, this, this is a, a vase from Walmart, and this is contact paper. These are just black strips. The, the vase is all white. 
uh, and I just wanted to do something interesting with it. And I use it for my longer brushes. And I'm just delighted with this, this concept. And now, I have a Facebook page, which is called Easy Art Projects. There are lots more projects on there, and I'm adding to it all the time. Uh, if I pick up anything at random, I like to challenge myself. What can I do with that to make it more interesting? And guess what? You have that same ability in you to create something the world has never seen before. And the more you do it, the more you find your journey, your path, uh, the, the kind of materials that you like. And what's particularly interesting to me is you could take something like a, the ping pong balls, okay, or uh, even a vitamin or a medicine bottle, or you could take the cans, and that could become a complete art practice. What I mean is an, an artist could spend the rest of his or her life doing things with cans if that was the, the, uh, the material that was really enjoyable and uh, always available. So, uh, or the wooden blocks, there's no end to what the imagination can do. And you have as much as I do, it's just a matter of giving yourself the freedom to try and see where you can go. So long.